Hey there guys, welcome back to beautiful North Idaho where it is a lovely but warm afternoon. Uh, we're getting a very late start to the day even though we have a ton to get done. Yes, we have two days exactly, two afternoons actually, to get everything done because that boom man lift that we've been using is going to be heading down the driveway forever. I think it's been a huge help. But what we were working on today and hoping to accomplish within the next 48 hours is getting this open gable in that you see back behind us here completely framed out. That's going to contain four windows and it's going to match the front gable in which we are currently sitting in here. Made a huge mistake with that wall because we didn't measure from the center out. We already have the layout marked on that back wall. I went ahead and took care of that. Hopefully we should be good to go running from our mistakes. Yes, so step one is going to be building up that back gable end a little bit. We need to go up about six inches so that our windows aren't sitting right down and being hidden by that ceiling on top of our pantry. So we're gonna start there, get our top plates on, and then we'll start framing. Let's go. Take off. Oh. We are ready to start the build-up portion. We are going to be building up this section here about six inches. That way we can do trim inside. So we've got trim pieces going along the bottom of the windows. Also, we don't want our windows to be blocked by this pantry ceiling. So by setting them up six inches, that will solve both of those issues. So smart. My little Bob Vila. So smart. I don't want to be Bob Vila. Aren't there any girls? Heidi. I would be Wendy. Back to Heidi. Oh, Wendy from Bob the Builder. <laughs> up and over, up and over. <laughs> Set it on there. that either. Don't do that again. <laughs> what I tell you about that Hey, Melissa, apparently Nicolas Cage is running for president in 2024. Did you hear that? Jeremy, I don't think that's true. He's got my vote. Hey, Jeremy, you want some of this chicken? No, I'm trying this new all-carbohydrate diet. It's supposed to be really good for you to help you lose weight. Where did you hear that? On the internet. Yeah, that's what she said. Hey, did you hear about that new beach they just found over on Mars? I think Melissa and I might try it out for our anniversary this year. Jack, yeah. you need a credible news source. 
Melissa, I'm on the phone. With so much information out there, do you find it difficult to get just the facts and not opinions? 1440 is your all-in-one source of impartial, quickly digestible news. We all have limited time each day to catch up on the most important news and information. So Andrew and Tim, the creators of 1440, set out to create a means of providing the latest news updates and happenings in the world without the spin. I personally love that 1440 is broken down into categories from need to know, including the most influential event, to in the know, such as sports and business news. As a busy mom of four, homeschooling, homesteading, and of course, building our own house, I love that I can get all up to date early in the morning, not waste my time searching multiple news sources, and be on my way. All you have to do is go to 1440.com slash goodsimpleliving and enter your email address to get started for free. See, look. So it turns out Nicolas Cage isn't running in 2024? That's disappointing. Get informed without the BS today. Click our link in the description below and sign up for 1440 for free. We got our bottom plates and our top plates in place. The top plates look okay-ish. Our uh, hey, nobody's perfect. Angled cuts at the top. Aren't I've done better. Great. It's at the very peak. The, the angle isn't perfect, but it's all going to be covered, so nobody's going to see it. Anyway. I said it looks okay-ish. It looks okay. Yeah. So now we're going to start cutting all of our studs. We've got angles at the top to do, and then we will have all of our framing in place. Our goal is to frame out the entire gable end tonight, and then we'll do sheeting and taping tomorrow. Sounds good. So the gable end that we're working on here is going to differ from the one on the far end that you see there. We're not going to have that massive buildup in the middle because we don't have a ridge beam to support like we do on the other side. Uh, because of that, we're just going to have three studs and three studs that will make up the inner portion for the rough opening here on our larger gable end windows. And then to fill that void in the middle, I got this block set and I think we'll probably set two or three more as we work our way up. We are quickly losing light. We have an hour, maybe an hour and a half left of light. So we're gonna get our butts in gear. We've got half of this done. We have another half to do. We, oh, sorry, did I just poke you in the eye? You don't need that. And then, <laughs> so why didn't we get started earlier? Well, the boom does not belong to us. So we are using it when it is not in use, which meant we got to start it about 4.30 today. So we're grateful to have it. We're gonna try to take advantage because in about a day, this thing is gone.
Didn't reach our goal. We're getting chased by mosquitoes. It's now dark. I can't see what I'm doing inside. So we're gonna call it a night. Yeah. Didn't get nearly as far as I wanted to. I'm actually kind kind of starting to sweat getting this done in time. But uh, we're gonna do are bad. we're gonna do what we can <laughs> and uh, try to make this work. So that's it. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> we're over it tonight. We are back at it again. Jeremy is taking another measurement so we can finish up all of the framing. We are almost done with framing. Today is like 20 degrees cooler. It's overcast. They say rain is coming. It is like the world is air conditioned. It is so amazing. We are loving this cool temperature. What a difference it So different from last night. Okay, so quick status update. We've been working all morning. It is now into early afternoon and we were running into some issues with the framing of our gable end. What we were trying to accomplish was snap, we were trying to snap a chalk line that would match the pitch of our roof itself. And that, that's for the top of our gable end trapezoid windows. That wasn't working out. We were racking our brains, going around, verifying all of our measurements, trying to figure out what the problem was. Um, and we eventually figured it out. Yeah. The problem is that my math sucks. So I figured out our rise and run for our large trapezoid windows and I was off by two inches. So I actually had the run correct. I had the rise at two inches too tall. Don't ask me how I did that. I, I have no idea how I did that. So Anyway, we went ahead and we custom ordered four of these windows two weeks ago, and we are hoping and praying that they haven't started these windows yet. They're not due in for about another six weeks, four weeks maybe. Um, there's a chance that they've already done them, and in that case, you know, they're custom windows. You order them, you pay for them, you bought them. They're, there's nothing that they're gonna be able to do for us. So we called in to Home Depot, which is where we ordered the windows through, and they're calling the manufacturer to see if they can stop the order, if there's any way that they haven't started yet. Um, that would That's really our only saving grace in this case. Um, hopefully they haven't started them. Otherwise, it's it's a really big error. Um, Things happen. I told Melissa that, yeah, this, so this is unfortunate, right? But going into this whole home build project, us being a couple of amateurs, I fully anticipated that things like this were going to arise. Things happen um, in life in general. So it is what it is. We know where, we're, where we currently stand. We just need to resolve the issue and move forward. So we're going to wait to hear back from Home Depot. Hopefully that works out. And if not, we will uh, we'll get it sorted out either way. Uh, I don't know. I just feel bad. It's my error and it's not a small error. So Hopefully we can rectify this. We're just waiting for a phone call back. Hopefully we get it today. Otherwise, I'm going to freak out. All it happens. Night. We'll be fine. We're good. We have been dealing with this window thing for the last couple hours. Originally, um, they called back and said that the window company said there's nothing they can do. The windows are already in production. They're coming. They're paid for. You're completely out of luck. And then about 30 minutes after that, we got a phone call from Home Depot saying, you know what, guys, we're going to allow those windows to come in. We will return them even though they're custom and um, just charge you a restocking fee and allow you to reorder the windows that you actually need. So it's such a massive blessing. I mean, this could have been a completely complete loss on the windows. I mean, just these massive windows that we couldn't use that don't fit. And um, Home Depot came through and I, I am so grateful. I'm so relieved. So we are gonna get back to work. We're going to get these gable ends framed to the proper angle, the proper size for the windows that we actually need. The wind is crazy right now. So we're getting back on the lift in this crazy weather, but we have renewed spirits. We're pumped, we're excited, let's do this.
72 inches, not 74. I think I just got a sliver in my thigh. <laughs> In your thigh? I'm gonna need you to get that out. <laughs> Somewhere else. We get teeth. We got all of our framing done. Now we are going to attempt to sheet this gable end up on a lift. In the wind. It's crazy wind. I don't know what's up with this weather. It's either like hotter than the sun or super windy or downpouring. It can't just be like 72 with birds chirping. It's been a really frustrating day. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a day, but um, it's gonna work out. We're gonna do what we can. This is our absolute last day with this lift. So we really, really have to push until dark and get everything we can done. I've brought a snack. What is it? It's Mally's chocolates. Why are you pulling it away from Because I want to have them first. Because life is like a box of chocolates and you never know what you're going to get. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's been that kind of day. <gasps> Those look really good. While Jeremy measures, I'm going to teach you guys the proper way to eat a box of chocolates. My grandma Lucille showed me this. Hi, grandma Lucille. I love you. You take a bite out of every single one, no one else is going to eat it, which means you don't have to share your box of chocolate. Also, you get to sample each one and see what's inside, and then later you can come back and you'll have like a little window. She used to poke holes at the bottom of the chocolates and then see what was inside. So, that's one way of doing it. See? Now I know that's a caramel. I'll put it back. Caramel. Mm. See? Almond. Oh, walnut? Walnut. See, now I'll put it back. Lemon. See? Open up my box of nails. <laughs> now I know that's lemon. I'm never coming back for that one. Oh. Okay, we got this part done. Now we're going up. My favorite part. This is our last full-size sheet of exterior zip going on the house. We got a couple more small pieces after this. This is the last full-size sheet, Mom. Yeah. That is exciting. No more schlepping full-size sheets of zip between the floor and the walls. you? And it's gonna be all about drywall. <laughs> and then that'll suck all over. <laughs> We have our very last piece of exterior sheet and these go on this gable end. You can see the missing triangle here. Unfortunately, what that means is we're gonna have to reroute all of our lines. We got our air line for our nail gun, the cord for our saw. All that has to be dropped back down, rerouted somewhere. We're running out of openings in the house at this point. So we're kind of limited on options. Worst comes to worst, I can just screw this thing too. Should we just do that? Sure. Okay, we're gonna screw it. Yeah. That's usually the, yeah, the screw solution. Yeah, screw right it, here. Jeremy. Just, just screw it. Bombs away.
Everybody's gonna go get the drill. The long journey down the ladder. He's returned. Huh? I said you've returned. Did you miss me? Well, I mean, I just really sort of want down. So, last piece. Yeah. Yeah, I missed you. I missed you something fierce. Oprah's favorite thing. Oh dear. Cordless nail guns. Sure it is. <laughs> that I can see Oprah ah. tossing those out. <laughs> you get a nail gun. You get a nail gun. <laughs> I don't know what you're supposed to throw it. Oh, I got wood in my eye. Yeah. The first time you buttered that stick. Come on. Just go in. Not that hard. Just do it. Are you regretting the idea to screw it? Our kids are having more fun than us. Let's go flush our eyes. <laughs> Sounds great. Lovely way to spend the evening together. We got that to look Flushing forward to. <laughs> super, super romantic. What are you doing? I said super romantic. So pretty awesome news. I'm out here picking some kale for dinner and we got word that the lift is actually going to be here till tomorrow. So we still get to route her out and tape up that entire back using the lift. Huge relief because the thought of doing that on an extension ladder did not sound very fun. With all of our exterior sheeting completed, the inside of the house is going to be very, very dark. So we're yeah. going to router out these window openings in our gable end and get some natural light flowing back inside, brighten things up a bit. Yeah, so like we mentioned before, we have this sucker for one more day. We're going to get everything routed. We're going to hopefully get all of our taping done and we'll be done. Crazy. Jeremy is going around the edges and getting just some extra nails in along the very edge of those sheets. But that just kind of shows you had we done no windows versus windows. We got half of them cut out, get the other half done, and then that whole gable side will be all opened up and we'll be ready to tape. Jeremy router stuff, he likes to hose off. And I like to watch. <laughs> you cool it. Don't. 
Who this, Mama? Ma. Do you have the roller? Yeah, but you were you were psyched. I was you I was ready you to were go. pumped. You were that was good. Okay. A little ahead of myself. Yeah. I was ready to go. All right. I don't know. Okay, you can do it again. Sound really inspirational this time. Let's get it done, Mom. Let's get it done. I believe you when I look into your eyes. Nailed it. <laughs> Workplace harassment. Melissa, it's starting to hurt. You said that we're losing this thing after long. Um, no, you know, this has been an awesome tool, but uh, I'm not gonna pretend that I enjoy myself. Hold on, you're gonna miss this? I'm gonna miss that sound. I hear that sound in my dream. Stop dreaming for me. Truly. We're gonna have to figure something else out for the office. Yay. We're gonna rent something similar More or hype. buy something similar. I say we just repel off the roof and dangle like a window washer. All right, we're at the very top. Probably my least favorite place to be. We've got just maybe four seams to do, and we are done. Can't be having my little lady fall down and go, boom, mama. I won't allow it. Like okay. hum Humpy Dumpy? Not gonna have it. You're a mother. Oh. Melissa, you're a mother. I am. Need you around for dinners and such. <laughs> <laughs> I like your style. I like your moves. Fall in the hole. Ah, I'm too short. Remember when you prayed for what you have now? That rang so true for me this week. As we wrapped up the framing and the sheathing, I had a good look back. Before we found this property, I used to pray for patience because I knew that that perfect piece of land was sitting there. We just hadn't found it yet. That's it, Mama. Thumbs up, good job. Can you believe that? Last sheet, last uh, seam, last piece of tape. Last time on the lift. <laughs> Unbelievable, unreal. Let's get down. Then once we had the property, I would pray for a way to get here. How on earth? Could we ever make this work? And now that we're here, I so often forget what a blessing this journey really is. And I'll let little things like schedules or incorrectly ordered windows get me down. In reality, I have everything that I've ever prayed for. If you showed me just a glimpse of today, back when I was praying for a path here, I would tell you that it was perfect. But isn't that just life? We so easily forget to see the blessings and we focus on the little daily stresses when in reality, our blessings far outweigh our troubles. So this week, I remembered when I prayed for what I have now and I realized that those little things are just that. And this life, this life is an unbelievable blessing.